Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Ethan Nguyen. And I'm Quentin Lespino. Today is Thursday, January 12th, and we're here with your daily announcements. Link Crew is now accepting applications for the 2023 to 2024 school year. They are looking for juniors, sophomores, and a select group of ninth graders who have been successful at COHS and serve a positive role model for younger students. Potential leaders are compassionate, engaged, dedicated, spirited, and passionate with a desire to improve the overall climate of this campus. If this sounds like you, please copy down the link on the screen or scan the QR code to apply. Applications are due on January, uh, Friday, January 20th, 2023 with a school model group of interviews to follow. If you have any questions, please email Mrs. Smith at uh, crmsmith at egsd.net. The COHS Counseling Department, along with Cal Soap, will be hosting a Cash for College workshop to assist seniors on completing their financial aid application. The Cash for College workshop will be held on January 19th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the COHS Career Center, which is located in Student Services. The Senior Disneyland trip is still on this Friday. Make sure you are prepared to load the bus, your, uh, your bus at precisely 11.45 p.m. Some things you are advised to bring are pillows, blankets, battery packs, backpacks, change of clothes, and more. Ponchos will be provided. If you are on the no activities list, please try to fix that before uh, by today or else you will not be boarding the bus. Now, let's pass it over to Angelina and William for our In the News update. Good morning, I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm William Ma, and we're here with your In the News update. President Biden's lawyer found classified documents in his home in Wilmington, Delaware. The documents, Obama-Biden administration records, were said to have been found in the president's garage. Biden acknowledged this discovery and said he will speak on the matter soon. Jeff Beck, the rock guitarist who's often regarded among the greatest of all time, died this Tuesday from bacterial meningitis at the age of 78. His representative, Melissa Drakich, confirmed his death through an email to CNN. Beck was an eight-time Grammy Award winner who was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1992 as a guitarist for the Yardbirds and in 2009 as a solo artist. Flights have resumed after over 1,300 flights were canceled and over 10,000 were delayed yesterday. A nationwide ground stop by the Federal Avi Aviation Administration was put into place after an outage on Wednesday night. This power outage was said to have been caused by a damaged database file. It was originally speculated that this system failure was caused by a cyber attack, but the FAA says there is no evidence of this. Six powerful storms that were supercharged by, an atmospheric ri by atmospheric rivers have struck California since Christmas, and three more are expected to hit in the coming days. During these storms, at least 17 people have died, and despite all this water, state leaders are bracing for the possibility of more droughts this summer. Carla Nemeth, the director of the State Department of Water Resources, says that coincidentally, California is experiencing both a drought emergency and a flood emergency. That's all we have for you this week. I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm William Moore. Back, Back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Wow. California weather just can't make up its mind. Seriously, it really reflects uh, citizens. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors are invited to attend the 2023 AP Information Night being held through Zoom today. The Zoom meeting will provide you with information about many of the AP courses being held next year. And we highly recommend you to attend. More knowledge can never hurt. Well, it's time for us to say goodbye, Wolfpack. I'm Ethan Nguyen. And I'm Quentin Lespino. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Kiss of Ginger, Ginger Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.